Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This episode right here, this thing is your week in nerddom, and we are going to be combining gaming and comic books this week for a couple of reasons. Kind of a slow week in news, and one less video for me to edit since I'm going to New Orleans like we discussed earlier in the week. So let's jump into the intro and we'll talk about the things. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. And I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commando of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On generally nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into any news though, nerds, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's videos are sponsored by the Photographer Shirt. In theme with our New Orleans trip and the Adventures in Photography episode or episodes, depending on how much footage you get while we're down there, the sponsor shirt is going to be the Photographer. Kind of makes sense. I mean, if we're pushing Adventures in Photography, why not push the Photographer shirt? The only place you can get this Photographer shirt is over at teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the place to get your Photographer shirt. teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. So go check it out or just check out the website. You can find the link up there, generallynerdy.net. Now, let's hit up all of that news right around the corner. First, let's hit up gaming. This week in gaming, we are talking about Tekken 7. I know, it's, a, it's been out for a while. We've already even gone through a season pass. Well, does this tweet mean that we're going to get a second season pass? Uh, maybe. That's, I mean, that's entirely possible. My feeling, though, is it's, this is, I didn't translate it, so if you want to translate that, then by all means, and then let me know what the translation says, but uh, I'll try and get the translation by the time I post this. What I feel like is more likely is that this is an announcement for more guest characters in Soul Calibur. Uh, I, yeah, this is... Either way, I'm super stoked. These they're both games that I really love. So, I'm down I'm down th 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 another Tekken character in Soul Calibur. Are you kidding me? I mean, Yoshimitsu is the dude, so you can't really get better than that. But there's a couple other pretty good choices to put into Soul Calibur. I just don't know how they'll factor into the story being as not many other uh, Tekken characters use blades besides Yoshimitsu. Soul Calibur is all about blades, hence the name. Uh, still, really cool. Just wanted to put that out there. Moving on. And then this is a follow-up bit that we're talking about now, about Mega Man. What, uh, this actually probably could have gone into television news, but gaming was a little thin, so whatever. If you want to follow the card, that will take you to the interview I did with the guys from Man of Action who are doing the TV series. Uh, there is going to be a lot of Mega Man over at San Diego Comic-Con this year. They have the guys from Man of Action are going to be doing a panel and there's going to be a lot of Mega Man 11 stuff that uh, I've been reading about over at San Diego Comic-Con this year. So a lot of updates coming for Mega Man 11, <coughs> Mega Man in general, not just Mega Man 11. Mega Man in general coming in the next week or two. I think San Diego Comic-Con is just two weeks out. So it's going to, the floodgates are about to open. Uh, but still, uh, the fully charged, the, the animated series is going to be announced and they're going to have a trailer or a sneak peek somehow of uh, the animated series. And then it's going to debut on Cartoon Network later this year. I believe fall as well. Um I'm, I did, it, it looks cool. They did a little bit of a redesign on, on the Mega Man suit, the blue bomber, if you will. But uh, yeah, still not bad news. Our last bit of gaming news this week, guys, is Spider-Man for the PS4, the one that we're kind of sort of keeping tabs on. Just got announced this week that there's not going to be Mission Replay, uh, which kind of 
squashes the replay value, doesn't it? I mean, games like this, really the best example is going to be Batman uh, the Arkham series. Uh, part of the reason why you can, it takes so long to, to get 100% completion is because a the 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 difficulty level is fairly high uh so that in turn makes the missions difficult to do perfectly yes there are those that can run through any of those arkham games and get a hundred percent within you know 10 hours or so but the average gamer that's not the case and and the average person who cares to get a hundred percent completion is not the case you have to go over those missions a few times so this is this really is two things first it's it's aggravating if you have to start the entire game over just to redo a couple of missions because by the time you get to that mission again it's you don't remember how you did it the first time so you can't really change your your strategy or it's going to be so easy you don't need to change your strategy you can just breeze through the game at which point why replay it anyway and then we also got a bit of news uh, about the game that said that there's only going to be Spider-Man in the game as a playable character. That's, you're only going to be one protagonist. There's not going to be any other additional protagonists for you to choose from at any point in the game. I feel like that's just for launch. Uh, feasibly, they could change that with some DLC. Uh, they very likely will change that with some DLC. I just, I feel... I feel like they're shooting themselves in the foot with this with this no mission replay. That's just just a dumb move. Just dumb. Oh, but that's all we got for video games, guys. Let's kick on over next to comic books, and it is equally as short. Comic books this week. Uh, we got we had the death of Steve Ditko, the original artist for Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and others. Uh, Marvel artist worked directly with Stan Lee. Just it. it fantastic iconic artwork came from this man and he passed he was 90 years old so he had a pretty good run of it uh yeah that again we don't do death very well on generally nerdy so we're just gonna keep on rolling following that up something much more lighthearted. marvel is planning deadpool versus black panther uh kind of a loose reasoning for this this series is going to be a, a short-ish story arc i believe it's going to be something along the lines of eight issues and deadpool needs vibranium black panther doesn't want to give him the vibranium and hilarity ensues hopefully uh the last deadpool run I didn't really knock my socks off i'm hoping this deadpool run will be better the writer is daniel kibblesmith uh, and the artist is Ricardo Lopez Ortiz. And I, I dig the premise. I feel like this is a great person for Deadpool to go up against. This is a great hero for Deadpool's anti-hero to go up against. I just don't... I don't have the biggest faith in Marvel these days, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, it could be... It could be great... I'm crossing my fingers, hoping it's at, it's at least Brian Posehn levels of great. Probably not going to be Joe Kelly great. That's that's a kind of a given at this point. No one's going to beat the Joe Kelly run. Um, I just I I'm hopeful. That's that's how we're going to have to leave that. And then to round out our gaming and comic books episode this week, we are talking about Spider Geddon one more time. Spider-Geddon this week announced that they're going to be adding two new superheroes, not Spider-Man heroes, but two new superheroes to the story. Uh, we are going to be getting a Spider-Man version of both Uncle Ben and Norman Osborn. So these are new Spider-Men to the Spider-Verse uh, that we didn't get in the Spider-Verse run. It's it, And it's going to happen real quick. It's going to be at least... Uncle Ben version of Spider-Man is going to happen in issue three of the Spider-Geddon arc. So it, there's there's a lot to look forward to. I'm hoping they come out of this hole. Marvel is is up against a rock and a hard place right now. They that they put themselves they put themselves there by choosing to go with to 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 be a, a version of 
equal outcome rather than equal opportunity. And that's as political as we're going to get. Thank you guys for watching this week's gaming and comic books edition. What did I miss in either of these topics? What should we talk about next week? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. You can find links to Nerdy Swag. You can find freebies on the blog, and the social media and all that stuff is up on generallynerdy.net. Or there's Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is where you can go directly support the channel, and you get more content. There is a lot more content, even just for a dollar a month you get at least twice the amount of content for just a dollar so check it out patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you like the episode click the like button if you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up click the tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that but before we go before we click boxes and visit websites guys always always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>